Hey guys, Staffles here. Today we're going to be making a car where you can hop on it, drive around, and you can customize the speed, how fast it turns, even anything you want. So uh, yeah, let's get right into the tutorial. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do before we start the tutorial is we're actually going to we want our properties tab up and our explorer tab up. Now go to your model tab, make sure your rotate is on at, at least 5 degrees, and then your move tab, or your move grid should be on at 0 0.5 studs. So let's just insert our base, and we're just going to scale it to however we want. You can do whatever your car wants to be. You can make like a tank, whatever you want it to be. So I'm just gonna make mine a very simple car. Just like this, and we actually don't wanna anchor this because it'll be held up by its wheels and if we anchored it, then obviously it wouldn't be able to move. And you wanna elevate it off the ground just a little bit so that um, your wheels can fit. So next we're actually gonna make our wheels by putting a cylinder down and it should automatically rotate for you but if it doesn't you can just grab the blue one right here and then rotate it until it meets one of these little lines right here but I'm just gonna leave it like this we want to grab the sta the scale you could leave it like this if you wanted to but I don't think it looks that good so I'm just gonna scale it to about right here and then I'm gonna drag this up and then move this right here I think that's a pretty good size and then what you want to do is go into your model tab find the surface thing right here click on it and we're just gonna do glue click on the surface that is facing where you're gonna put it to the car so for me it's right here we're gonna click on it and we'll put it there now just you move uh, select your mouse tool go on your properties tab and scroll down all the way to the bottom until you see surface open that up and find the surface that has glue on it because that will be the surface that you want to have your hinge on you click on the glue and then find hinge in here and then click on it and then your hinge should be there. So then you just want to move it to the car. Just like that and then position it however you want. I'm just going to make mine just like this. And then you just want to duplicate it pressing control D and then dragging your other wheel over here. And then you want to hold control and click the other one so you have both of them selected. Then press control D again. And then select the rotate tool. And then drag the green until it meets the second mar marker right here. And then just drag it to the other side. Whoops. Sorry guys, so just use the rotate tool with both of them selected and drag them around. And then bring the duplicated wheels to the other side. And you should have your wheels all set up. Now we're actually going to make our seat. Oh, yes guys, so if you see this on the bottom, that actually means your wheels aren't properly aligned up, so just move your base a little bit down, and now your wheels are aligned up. So, now you could, uh, now you just want to add in your seat, so just put, uh, right click your workspace, and then press insert object, and then we're going to search up vehicle, and then we're going to see seat, the seat should pop up. Now we're going to turn on join surfaces right here, and then we're just going to drag it right on to the base, and we're going to position it. I'm not obviously a builder, so it's, it's not even going to be equal for me, but it doesn't matter. And then um, you don't want to drive your car backwards, so you're going to go in the properties, or you're going to do the thing that we did for the wheels. So we're going to we're going to go in the surface tab right here. We're going to select glue, select any face. It doesn't really matter. Go back on your mouse tool, click the seat, go in the properties, search up surface, click open the surface, find the glue one. That should be the front surface right there. So if you sit on that, it will go this way. But I'm yeah, that, that will be good. Okay, so once you guys have the front surface identified and it's facing the right way, then now what you want to do is just group them together. So you want to Select all of them in the workspace by holding control and clicking each one of them. 
and then press Control and G at the same time and it should make it into a model. You can just name this car by right clicking and pressing your name and then just typing in car. And now I'm gonna leave a script in the description. It's a very simple script, but it fixes the car because Roblox actually added an update where your hinges don't work the same and they won't automatically work up for you. But uh, luckily, um, a very nice guy, I'll leave his Roblox profile in the description. Uh, he made this script for us called, yeah, it's just called joints and you just place in your model and basically what it does is it just puts the joints in your model which let the scripts move if you want it if you want guys you can go follow him his name is george the dev on roblox um but yes so shout out to him for making cars work again so we just drag that joint script into the car and then it should work all right guys so all you need to do is just go to the link in my description and it should be under helpful links and it'll bring you to this right here by George the Dev. Make sure to follow him. Press get, it's free, don't worry. And then just go in your Roblox Studio, open toolbox, go to my models right here in this tab, and then pressing my models right here. You should see car fixer, press it. He actually made some descriptions and some uh, instructions in the title, but just drag the join script into the car. Let me just delete my old one. Drag the join script into the car. It will be there and then you can just delete everything else and this what the script does as i already explained it just makes some joints and it fixes it now when we go in our game if we just hop on the seat and we hold w it will go now as i explained in the first clip you can actually change the speed okay guys so you're going to look for max speed in the seat switch at max speed and then i set mine to 100 but it should automatically be set to 25 just make it 100 or whatever you really want depends on how fast you want to go then your throttle is how fast the car can go so i'm making mine one which is the max i'm pretty sure and then steer i'm also just going to make mine the max just like that and now you can see okay so with my settings the car actually just fell off the map i don't really know what just happened there so obviously you don't want whatever my car just did so you, you got to be careful with adjusting your things i guess i won't make my max speed 50 i'll make it this and i'll just put this to like point 25 oh you can't put points so i guess i'll just make mine zero right here this will just be zero the torque i'm pretty sure you can raise that right yeah i'm just gonna make my torque 50 and now it should be fixed all right yeah so now i like my car a little bit better now guys it's a little bit more drifty but it's fast and it's just the way i like cars yeah, this is more fun in my opinion. But, uh, oh god. Uh, oh, my car almost rolled off. But, I uh, hope you guys like the tutorial. That's how you make a car. Uh, again, you can always recolor it and just add, you can always add more stuff. If you wanted to add walls to the car, just make your join surface thing is on. And then just drag the parts on top of it. And then you can recolor it to whatever size you want. But I'm not really a builder. So, you know, you can, you don't have to, uh, you don't need to do that. If you don't want to, if you just want a simple car, you can just do what I did. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I put a lot of time into these videos. Um, thanks for watching, and remember, stay developing.